Good afternoon, my name is Janelle Torres. The artist I chose for my artwork is Frida Kahlo. Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo, shortened to Frida Kahlo, was born in July 6, 1907 in Cuyacan, Mexico City. She was raised in a family's home called Casa Azul, which translates Blue House. Her parents were Guillermo Kahlo and Matilde Calderon y Gonzalez. Guillermo was a German descendant and he was a photographer. Her mother was a devout Catholic of primarily indigenous as well as Spanish descendants. At the age of six, Kahlo contract contracted polio and had to be in bed for months. Polio is a virus that spreads and can affect the person's brain and spinal cords in which her right leg was thinner than her left. She hid it by wearing long skirts. Triunfo is a common traditional clothing in Mexico that was worn through indigenous women from Mexico to Central America. It was a short blouse, usually complemented with a lot of jewelry and a long skirt. Calo would center part and braid it into a tight bun and accessorize it with headpiece and flowers. Often wearing flowers and using them in her paintings as a celebration of her national heritage. She got inspired by her passion for nature and gardening by wearing a flower crown in her hairstyle. At the age of 18, Kahlo suffered a very traumatic accident. On September 17, 1925, Kahlo was riding in a bus that collided with a trolley car. Kahlo was on bed rest and was by herself most of the time. So to kill time and alleviate the pain, she started painting and finished her first self-portrait the following year. Frida Kahlo attended the National Preparatory School in Mexico City. At the National Preparatory School, Kahlo met Diego Rivera, a Mexican muralist who had been working on a mural called The Creation. Kahlo admired him and was amazed by his artwork. Kahlo and Rivera married on August 21, 1929. Their marriage was toxic, but they always found a way back to each other. The following artworks are some of her most famous paintings.
the artwork I chose was Self-Portrait with Monkey. It was done in 1938. The medium of this artwork is oil on masonite. Its dimensions are 16 inches by 12 inches. In this painting, you see Kahlo as the main focus, and next to her you see a smiley and hairy monkey. She uses the monkey because Rivera had gifted, had gifted her one. She adored it and kept it in her garden. As you can see, the monkey's arm is wrapped around her shoulder as a sign of protection. Kahlo paints the monkey as friendly and gentle. In other countries, monkeys are known as lascivious. In Mexican mythology, this means lust. She compares them with men because they see themselves as a ruler of the animal kingdom. Men like to be in control of women and they have sexual desires. But Kahlo doesn't use them like that. She uses them as a childlike figure. Kahlo uses animals because Kahlo couldn't have children due to her illness. Kahlo uses complementary colors like her red lipstick and the green leaves. The rhythm are the leaves because it gives it it gives the painting visual movement starting at the right, going down to the left towards the monkey. Many people in society think it's fair to look down upon women. Discrimination is a big thing today. We see how unfair the system works. Discrimination can be based on many different characteristics, age, gender, weight, ethnicity, religion, or even politics. Kahlo expressed her emotions. She never kept quiet and showed what she felt. Women should never keep quiet and speak what they want. At a young age, my mother showed me to never stay quiet and express how I feel. To never be shy and not speak to the people that bring me down. Women have the same rights as men do. Kofi Ann once said, We may have different religions, different languages, different colored skin, but we all belong to one human race. We share all the same basic values. Kahlo paints real women and real life experiences. Kahlo didn't follow the traditional outlook of what women are supposed to look like. Instead, she painted women who go through abortion, miscarriages, birth, and breastfeeding, among other things. Kahlo encouraged other women to embrace their inner beauty and not care what others say. My artwork represents how every woman has a voice. Often women stay quiet when they're told to do something by men, but everyone has a voice. Speak out and never be afraid of the outcome. This artwork has words that are echoes of what people tell us and how we should think of ourselves. The color of my artwork gives us washout color because the words in the back are meaningless and everyone should think differently and show their true beauty. In today's society, women are expressed as Barbies with blonde hair, good figure, and a beautiful face. But Kala was unique in her own way. She never cared what other people said about her, so we shouldn't care of other people's opinions. She wasn't afraid to show her natural beauty to everyone. Kahlo had pride in her nationality. All the words that, are, all the words that people tell us, like your disgrace, useless, standard, naive, and loser, should slide like butter, and we should think of ourselves in a better way. It's time to speak up and fight for our rights as women. Remember, you have the, you have the right to determine and make your own decision. Everyone has opportunities and you have the right to control your life inside and outside of the home. Kahlo rose above society standards, so shall we. Be a voice for others, not an echo.